What's up, everybody? This is Eric Gill Jr. with www.ericgilljr.com, and I would just like to welcome you to Residual Knowledge TV. If this is your first time, uh, I am an online marketer who's giving out value every single day to make to make money online. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and thank you for watching i appreciate your time today i'm going to be talking about 12 steps to self-care these are 12 steps that have helped me to take care of my uh excuse me to take care of myself all right let's go ahead and dive into it all right so number one is if it feels wrong don't do it you ever heard people say you know i got this gut instinct that you know something's not going to work out right you know believe your gut trust your gut uh, i think there is an article somewhere that's proven that our gut and our brain are somewhat alike so please trust your gut i've gone through some things in my life i ain't gonna lie wish i never gone through it <laughs> because i didn't listen to my gut feeling i was trying to do some other things but if it feels wrong don't do it makes sense number two say exactly what you mean you know, sometimes, you know, I'll just give an example. When I was younger, it was a girl I was, you know, attracted to. I didn't say exactly what I meant. I just said what I think she wanted to hear. And it didn't go too well. And it hurt me because I was being truthful. And what I really meant when I was trying to attract her to me. So say exactly what you mean. And this will help you take care of yourself. Because in the end, I got hurt. So, you know, say exactly what you mean. Number three, don't be a people pleaser. Ah, uh, this right here. <laughs> I don't like to uh, please too many people, me, myself. I'm more of a, okay, I'll help you out. And I don't mind helping out. I'm not doing it to please you. I'm doing it for myself. Like Jim Rohn says, giving begins the receiver process. So the more I give, I know that the more I'm going to receive. That's karma. Anyway, let's go on to number four. Trust your instincts. You know, I think I believe everybody has instincts uh, inside of them. And I, if you trust them, the more you trust your instincts, you know, this is all self-care. So it's really about finding yourself and knowing yourself so that you can take care of yourself. So trust your instincts. That's number four. Number five is never speak bad about yourself. Uh, one thing I've I'm learning uh, as I get older, I, I see some people who are a little bit more comfortable and knowing their pros and cons of their self but speaking it out loud you, you're kind of putting yourself down well you are putting yourself down if that makes any sense uh, don't speak bad about yourself you need to always constantly and consistently uplift yourself because you are whoever's watching this you are an amazing and beautiful person don't downplay yourself because you have greatness within you so I never speak bad about myself. I'm always telling myself I'm amazing, I'm great, I'm smart. I'm always uplifting myself because if I can't boost myself up, I, I can't deliver that same energy to anybody else. So never speak bad about yourself. Number six, never give up on your dreams. I know everybody has dreams. If your dreams is to, you know, drive a certain car or if your dream is to have a certain house or if your dream is to... You know travel somewhere you know never give up on your dreams just because life will show you a certain reality that doesn't mean you need to give up on your dreams that's just the reality at this moment that doesn't mean this is the reality for your life so never give up on your dreams and go forth um, to reach your dreams too number seven don't be afraid to say no I tell people no all the time hey let's go work out no <laughs> You know, it's not on my schedule. I will work out, but no. Or let's go party, no. Let's go um, to the store and buy some stuff, no. Hey, why don't you come spend some time, no. I, I say no a lot only to protect my energy and because I'm doing other things that is bringing value to myself and value to others that um, I'm working on. So don't be afraid to say no. Don't worry about what people say. Number eight, don't be afraid to say yes, you know. This is all about getting out your comfort zone to create um, care for yourself. So these are 12 steps. So don't be afraid to say yes sometimes. You know, you can say yes to um, say yes to yourself. Like, yes, I'm going to eat better. Yes, I'm going to go and, and network with people. You know, don't be afraid to say yes. Number nine, uh, be kind to yourself. 
this is um, kind of like in regard to the other stuff, you know, about not talking bad to yourself. You know, be kind to yourself. Tell yourself that that you are amazing. Do daily affirmations. If you don't know what affirmations are, that's where you basically say I am and then you say such and such and such. So I, I would say to myself in the morning because I have um, I have a little poster. No, I'm sorry. A little whiteboard in my bathroom that I look at every morning and it says I am prosperous and it's written like six or seven times it's I am prosperous I am prosperous I look at that you know I'm kind to myself I'm telling myself these things so that I could grow as an individual so that I could be uh, the person that I know I am on the inside all right number 10 let go of what you can't control there's some things that we can and there's some things that we can't control and just let go of those those things because it's only holding you back because then that's your ego i believe if that makes any sense does that make sense you know let me know in the comments below you know let go of what you can't control there's some things you can't control just let it go <laughs> just let it go man all right number 11 stay away from drama and negativity uh this can even be people stay away from negative people and sometimes the most negative people are the ones that are closer to us the ones that we love but you're going to have to stay away from that because if you're trying to um, take care of yourself and create self-care, you got to distance yourself from negativity. That's, you know, you don't need negative energy around yourself if you're doing positive things. So please stay away from drama and negativity. And last but not least, number 12, love, L-O-V-E. Love yourself, love people, and love what you're doing. Be passionate about it. So this is some self-development uh, in regards to 12 steps to self-care. Uh, I do believe that uh, if you are on a journey uh, through entrepreneurship, that you are going to um, need some self-development. What I create here is just 12 steps to um, self-care. But please adhere to this, you know, like, share, share this with as many people as you can. Comment below on um, your 12 steps to self-care, 12 steps that you, you think you might take or if you appreciate the 12 steps I give it to you uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, that would be greatly appreciated so this is Eric Gill Jr. with um, EricGillJr.com and hope to see you on the other side peace out